Dust off. Whippets. Nitrous oxide. Air fresheners. Air duster. NOS. Markers. Butane. Inhalants. It kills brain cells. It lowers IQ. It makes you into a zombie. Inhalants are toxic things that people use to get a quick high. There are more than a thousand uh, household products that people use as inhalants to get high. Most commonly used in the U.S. are shoe polish, glue, poppers, gasoline, lacquer thinner, lighter fluid, nitrous oxide, other paint solvents, and dust off. Poppers and whippets, which you can pick up at a club or concert, contain really poisonous chemicals that can permanently damage your body and brain. In the long run, it can hurt your body. It can cause damage to your intestinal tract and stuff like that. That cuts off the oxygen to your brain. It kills your brain cells. It even says on the labels, like, do not inhale. You could die from inhaling this. Like, on the labels of dust off, it causes heart attacks, causes this and that. And it's not like heroin or like meth or any of those drugs where it will, eventually you'll gain a tolerance for it and you'll just be addicted and you'll just be trapped by it and you just keep doing it until you die. If you did it enough, you just die. Like a lot of kids die with it still in their mouth because you just don't know when it's too much. So I did the whippets, I did like uh, air freshener cans. Like dust off for like computer equipment and stuff. Spray paint in a paper bag. Inhale it through a shirt because you don't want the Freon to get in your throat. With the whipped cream, you just push the top part and inhale the air when the whipped cream comes out. People put it in a balloon and you inhale it, exhale and re-inhale it through the balloon. Or you could just like huff it straight out of a can or whatever it came in. I have to say I was probably 13. I think I was 14 or 15. I was 15. My friends and I were sitting behind a dollar store. I just showed up I, I because I knew that was like a hangout spot. We would go there and drink or smoke marijuana. And they were all sitting around a circle just inhaling butane, like lighter fluid. I was like, what are you guys doing? Just, we're inhaling, it's kind of new, I don't know, it's cool. Someone just discovered it, I guess, through somebody else and then brought it up. Honestly, we had nothing else to do. I went to a rave with one of my friends and there was a guy sitting in his car with a tank. He just pretty much asked me if I wanted something, so I said, sure. He filled up a balloon and gave it to me. He called it devil in a can. He said, it'll, it'll blow your mind. And it did, it was bad. After I did it the first time, it only took maybe two to three days before I started doing it again. When I first started doing it, it was like really exciting, so spent another hour or two just going through all the different cans in the house. What's so addicting about it is you just feel the rush instantly. It just hits you immediately. After I inhaled the whole balloon, I couldn't hear a thing. All I heard was wah, 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 wah in my head. People were talking to me, but I couldn't make out a single word. I'd want to do it right away again because the high would go away so fast. For 20 seconds, you have a false happiness. So you, you know, want to get right back into it. The whole goal is to be high, so you just do it, like want it right away again. I wanted to do it again. So you have to keep doing it over and over and over again. I was doing it every single day. I was addicted to it, for sure. I passed out. And me and my friends passed out a lot. Been passed out for quite a while, like a few minutes. Five minutes. I passed out in my house a few times. Pass out, and I was just in bed. I'd pass out, and I'd wake up every 10 minutes or every hour. And as soon as I'd wake up, I'd search for it, and I'd do it again. And I would do it to the point where I would pass out every single time on purpose. When you pass out, you know, you wake up, and you don't remember what happened. You have, like, no sense of thought, so you tripping over things and always ending up hurt somehow, falling, shortness of breath, like, it would make my chest hurt after a while. When you're coming down off of it, you get a foamy mouth and everything tastes weird. I'd get sick when I came down off a high. Um, my stomach would hurt and I'd have a headache, feel really lightheaded. I couldn't even see. I would just focus on the ringing because your head will start ringing. It's not like you could read a sign or, <laughs> you know, go get a glass of water. It's just like you had to sit down and just wait for it to stop. I almost feel like, like paranoia, confusion. And depending how much you do, you get really nauseous. I just felt completely, completely dead. Like I knew I didn't have any brain cells left. Probably the worst migraine you could ever have in your entire life. Where it feels like your brain is bleeding because it's hurting so bad. It's like, that's it. Until it's over, you're just a vegetable. So it was kind of like a never ending cycle to where you'd be, ah, uh, ah, uh, never ends. It was me and three other friends and we were huffing in a car, and the driver was huffing too. She had just taken a hit, and um, she drove into a tree, 
and like none of us were wearing our seatbelts. I had a friend end up in the hospital from it because she just didn't wake up. I was bored. I did it once, I did it again. I did it a third time and then I passed out. The next thing I remember, I'm running down the street, barefoot and just wear a short side. No idea where I was going. And somehow made it to my friend's house and he drove me back to my car. There were cops there and I had hit a tree, a huge tree. Messed up my car. I was stupid enough to to ruin a $10,000 piece of machinery just for you know, two minutes of being high. I inhaled a bunch of dust off and then got in the shower and I knocked myself out, fell over, hit my head on the bathtub spout. And then I woke up and stupidly enough did it again, inhaled it, got back in the shower and fell over again. You know, I was bloody and it's just stupid. I inhaled it and I fell backwards, hit my head on the concrete and was out. And then woke up and my the back of my head was bleeding. Uh, there was blood all over my back and my, my shirt and like all over the place. And my friends were all like, whoa, that was awesome. Was like, they thought it was cool. I thought it was like, wow, I'm cool now because I'm bleeding. And my friends are giving me approval because I'm bleeding and in pain. Good friends. I've heard from many other friends who, uh, one was inhaling Freon and he took two hits and then and that was it. And now he's dead. I do have trouble breathing. I can't run upstairs. If I do, I'm on the verge of passing out because I'm out of breath. I still have memory problems with it because it severely messed up my memory. I can't remember faces like I used to. I don't have clear images anymore. I'm learning at a slower rate than I was two years ago. It really, it does affect the way you, your ability to learn. It's really hard to see it at the time. So you don't realize the toll it's taking on your body. I had no idea it would cause this much pain and suffering.